Let's look at another experiment that demonstrates the power of the situation and how the situation can determine uh, if we act ethically or not. We're going to look at the Stanford Prison Experiment, a famous uh, uh, experiment led by Philip Zimbardo in 1971, where he had a, a group of male uh, Stanford students uh, commit themselves to being together for a week and to pretend that they were prison guards and prisoners. And they made this little uh, prison out of one of the buildings on Stanford uh, campus, and they were supposed to role play uh, being a guard or being a prisoner. And within a few days, things got out of control, and they had to end the experiment because the guards became abusive and some of the prisoners started despairing. So things just went really, really bad. The guards were uh, uh, using their power to, to be abusive, to hurt, uh, to um, uh, emotionally abuse people, and the, some of the prisoners were, uh, uh, were, were just breaking down in, in total despair. So this demonstrates the power of the situation. One thing that everybody can conclude from... Uh, uh, the study is that role expectations and social expectations influence behavior sometimes for bad. Um, the videos uh, of the Stanford Prison Experiment and the people talking about their experiment, experience, which you can view in the video and the link under the video, um, show that people had expectations. Oh, I'm going to be a prison guard, therefore I am going to... Uh, uh, use my power and be abusive and be, be tough and, and things like that. And so when people think that they're supposed to act a certain way in a role, and that includes ethically unacceptable behavior, they're more likely to do it. But the exact reasons on why people uh, can start acting unethically when they don't usually act ethically uh, are quite different. So I want to present two interpretations. One is, and this is the interpretation that Zimbardo presents, is that bad situations make good people do evil. Um, and that they created this situation, this prison, which was innately bad, and they put good people in it, and good people started acting bad. And it, was, it wasn't was the people's fault that they acted bad. It was the situation's uh, uh, uh effect on the on the people and therefore Zimbardo is uh, uh, is known for emphasizing that people aren't especially responsible for their behavior in um, different situations now I don't buy that at all I think people are always responsible for their behavior even when put in a situation that makes bad behavior more uh, uh, likely um, I think this idea of personal responsibility is is innate in human beings, that we are responsible for our behavior, um, even when it's really difficult. The other interpretation, which I tend to emphasize and I think is true, is that without accountability, many people will do evil if given power. So the prison guards there kind of had free reign to do whatever they wanted to do, and they were given the power to do whatever they wanted to, and power corrupts. That's going to be the, the theme of the final uh, week of this class, is the, the role of power. But we do know that power uh, corrupts people, and that um, people need to be held accountable for their behavior. We can't give free reign to people. We've got to have some type of system of checks and balances and accountability. And I think that does a lot better, uh, that's a lot better explanation for what happens. The prison guards were in a situation where they weren't accountable for their behavior, which enabled their uh, uh, natural tendencies to get out of control and to start acting unethically. Uh, so I encourage you to watch the, the half-hour video on the link if you, if you haven't yet. And it's uh, really just fascinating to see how people can, can justify their bad behavior, either based on the situation or take responsibility for their, uh, 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 their, their behavior and their poor choices.